Receiving hospital. 79th and Spring? Okay. Seventy-ninth and Spring, streetcar and automobile. Madam, the professional standard of J. Phineas Stevens, my ethics, my standing in the courts of this state is your guarantee of impartial... Hey, George, Seventy-ninth and Spring. Is your guarantee of impartial justice. Madam, leave everything to me. Miss Nash, finish that. I always keep faith with my clients' talk. I'm awfully sorry, folks, but there's a certain Supreme Court justice that will not hand down a decision until I check on it. All right. 79th of spring, boys. Step on it. Right. Doc! Doc! I'm on a binge again. It's the third case he's fallen down on this month. What is it? The funeral or an accident? Step on it. Beat that ambulance. And listen, you fellows. Don't try to be smart guys like you were at that last accident. You're dumb. You've just seen the accident. Your old John Doe public himself. I mean, you're getting the names of those witnesses. See if you can't slip them a few of my cards. Okay, Chief. I'm all right. I'm all right. I just got scared. It was my fault, I guess. Stay right where you are, madam. Leave everything to me. This is another victim of a reckless corporation. Now, don't try to talk, madam, not in your condition. You're a brave woman to try to carry on when you just face death. You leave everything to me. Here's the doctor now. She's conscious, Doc, with severe nervous shock. You better get to the hospital immediately. She seen me coming a block away, and I give her the bell. Now, wait and a then... minute. I was standing right over there on that corner, and I didn't hear no bell. Well, you come tearing along here 40 miles an hour. Oh, me? You sure did, didn't he? You was there, positively. You were sure going fast. 40 miles an hour, huh? You weren't drunk by any chance. Oh, me? Oh, just reckless. Oh, I'm not blaming you, but it's the policy of a ruthless corporation that thinks nothing of human life. And who gets the blame? The poor motorman. You look like an honest man. I wish you'd get the names of every witness to this outrage. But I will. Well, doctor? Nothing wrong with her. Just shock. Just shock. A cursory examination by a medical student. So that's the kind of treatment that the poor of the city are getting, is it? As a citizen, a taxpayer, and a lawyer, I demand that you remove this lady to the hospital immediately. Oh, all right. Jim, bring the stretch. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Is she hurt, Doc? Not that I can see. Madam, my name is Kelly. I'm the adjuster for the streetcar company. As counsel for this lady, we refuse any and all proposition. This lady don't have nothing to do with no shyster lawyer.